If bad gas has your carburetor down, this video is for you. This video is on the Southland Edger and covers most float type small engine carburetors. All tools and supplies used in this video are in the description. Remove the two Phillips screws on the air cleaner. Remove the air cleaner cover. Remove the air filter. Remove the air cleaner sustain board. Remove the two 10 millimeter nuts. Pull the hose out of the air cleaner box. Remove the air cleaner box. Spray down the outside of the carburetor to keep everything clean when we take it apart. With your curved nose pliers, squeeze the hose clamp and slide it back. Use your pliers to break loose the hose that gets stuck over time. Find a container. I recommend a small bottle like this one to drain the bad fuel into. Stick the hose in the bottle and let it drain. We will continue while the bad fuel is draining. Remove the two Phillips screws. Slide the plastic shield down and pull it out of the way. Remove the two 10 mm bolts on the front of the gas tank. Remove the one 10 mm bolt on the opposite side of the gas tank. Slide the hose clamp off of the fuel line so we can remove the plastic shield and set it aside. Slide the fuel line under the governor linkage as we remove the fuel tank. Bad gas. Remove the 10 millimeter governor nut. Remove the linkage arm so we can slide the carburetor off of the studs. Remove the governor linkage and spring. I'm going to clean up as I go. Remove the 10 millimeter float bowl bolt. Take care not to lose the seal on the bolt and take care not to lose or damage the float bowl o-ring. This bad fuel that has gelled in the float bowl is causing the main jet to plug. Spray it down, let it soak, and we will come back to it later. These are the main parts we will be working with. Pull the float bowl pin. Remove the float and the fuel inlet valve. Inspect the fuel inlet needle valve for dirty or missing rubber tip. Spray all ports with carburetor cleaner. With a small flat blade screwdriver, remove the main jet. Spray the air jet cavity with carb cleaner. Remove the float bowl o-ring 
so we don't lose it as we blow out all of the ports with compressed air. Clean the air jet. We must clear all the holes in the air jet or your engine will not run right. Use welding or torch tip cleaners if needed. Insert the air jet small end first. Repeat the cleaning process on the main jet. That did not clear the jet, so we need to get the torch tip cleaners. Insert the main jet with the slot up and tighten. Clean all the gunk from the float bowl. Install the float bowl o-ring. Clean the float and the fuel needle inlet valve. Install the float and fuel inlet valve. Install the float hinge pin. Gently test with compressed air. Align float bowl drain bolt opposite of fuel inlet. Install 10 millimeter float bowl bolt and tighten. Install governor spring and linkage. Check the carburetor mounting block and the two gaskets for cracks and dirt. Slide the carburetor onto the studs. Install outer gasket. Install governor arm. Start the nut but do not tighten. Place the 10 millimeter wrench on the nut, then push and hold the governor slash throttle linkage with your thumb. With the other hand, turn the slotted stud in the middle of the nut clockwise all of the way. While holding gentle pressure on the stud, tighten the 10 millimeter nut. Test the linkage. More cleanup if needed. All of the fuel will not drain out the bottom. We are going to use the fuel vent hole to drain the last of the bad fuel. Tip the tank upside down and drain the fuel into a container. As that is draining, flush the fuel line and fuel filter with carburetor cleaner and blow it clear. Spray some carburetor cleaner in the fuel tank to dilute the bad fuel and redrain. Use compressed air to blow the remainder of the carburetor cleaner out of the tank. Install the fuel line and tighten the fuel filter. 
Slide the fuel line under the governor linkage and install the fuel tank. Install the three fuel tank bolts. Do not tighten until we have all of them started. Tighten with the 10 millimeter socket. Wipe down the plastic shield if needed. Run the fuel line through the plastic shield. Work the shield into place and slide it up to lock. Install the two Phillips screws. Slide the hose clamp into place and then we need to flush the fuel tank with fresh fuel. Wait until the fuel flows freely. Gently pinch the fuel line with pliers to restrict the fuel. Install the fuel line and slide the hose clamp into place. Clean the fuel cap if needed and install. Clean the air filter cover and mounting plate if needed. Install air filter mounting plate and install rubber hose. Install the 2 millimeter mounting plate nuts. Install the air filter sustain board and then the air filter. Work the air filter cover into place and install the two Phillips screws. Start to test and run some fuel through it, then be sure to check for fuel leaks. Thank you for watching another successful how-to. If this video helped, Please like and subscribe.